Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Reverse StarCraft 1. We're going to be jumping into the Protoss mission number 7 and probably a little bit of mission number 8 as well. I have a feeling that Homeland's going to be pretty easy. I don't know why, but like, we got so much Protoss stuff here. And Protoss, you can't attack across a bridge. I'm going to be immortal. Right? I have come to arrest you and bring you home to Aya to stand arrest trial. Me. Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. You travel all this way to arrest me? Executor, you and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Conclave's law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall send us all unto the Zerg. I was really hoping that after Tassar was like, arrest me, Aldaris was just like, yes. <laughs> and then the <laughs> cutscene ended, but that was fine with what we got. Uh, no, no fight. Okay. Grab these guys. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of ally. Uh, Alright, we got nothing there. That's fine. Let's uh, just start building up our workers and stuff. Got observers on the bridge. A nice little thing over here. We have our scarabs. i bring you guys on over here as well. And it looks like they've won the thing. I actually have an idea for this mission. Uh, what is our base structure? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> We've got like a donut. <laughs> There's a base over here too. <laughs> We're just going full donut energy. Oh, that's so weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Are they trying to do the speed run? No way, they're trying to do the speed run strat. That's amazing. They're trying to run right to the end. No. <laughs> okay, we got to stop them. We got to stop them. Get over here. Oh my gosh, no way. That is so funny. Holy. Okay, there's a cannon right here. <laughs> Okay, we got him. I can't believe that the AI just tried to cheese me with the speedrun strat, where you just bring the Dark Templar right here and target the Nexus down. Oh. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. Oh, uh, sometimes, sometimes it just becomes so easy to write the titles for YouTube videos. <laughs> and this is one of those times. The AI tried to cheese me, exclamation point. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I'm so happy. What do we have? I'm, I have an idea, by the way. I don't know if I said that. I got very distracted by everything that was going on. We got a Robo Bay here. We have a Fleet Beacon, Templar Archives, Stargate. He's here. We're getting this base, and I'm just gonna... Oh, we probably can't build that. This is a terrible place. Let's go up a little bit. Oh, yeah. This is it. So we're gonna get that there. Boom, boom, boom. Those rallies over here. And then start getting our mineral economy up, because it's gonna be a very mineralicious day. Looks like our ally is very active. Look at him. He's jogging around with his guys. Taking his zealots on a walk. And then we... <laughs> don't have a cybernetic score. <laughs> we have a fleet beacon. <laughs> Robo Bay. <laughs> no cybernetic score. Alright. <laughs> Gonna be a moment. <laughs> Please excuse the, the delay. They have their, like, diamond of power here. Oh no. Yeah, I... I think that we can do something real aggressive real quickly here. I've just been thinking about how this AI works, and I kind of want to play around with it, you know? How aggressively it, like, tech swaps in order to counter you. So, what I want to try is I want to try going, like, five Robo Reaver, maybe even six, and really quickly pop out, like, 18 Reavers, and then attack them before they can do their map hacky tech swap and just see if that works. That's kind of the goal. So, yeah, I guess we'll go one, two, three. Oh, we're fighting. Four, 
four, five, six. So we want everything to be built in one giant clump. Really, really, really rapidly. We're gonna need some pylons. Actually, I have an idea. I have a bad idea. Okay, you guys come over here. Let's get Scarab damage. And then... We're going to build Pylon Ravine. Yeah, it's Depot Canyon, but for, uh... But for Protoss. It's the prequel. It's a prequel to Depot Canyon on the dig. Is this slightly going up? No, it's not. This is going in a straight... It doesn't feel parallel to this. It feels like it's off, but I'm pretty sure it's parallel. Oh man, StarCraft 1 is weird sometimes with his perspective. Oh, that's weird. It just, it legitimately, no, this is a straight line though that is p exactly parallel with these. It just completely does not feel like that to me. You've not enough okay, we gotta get all these queued and we have to get a million billion dollars in the bank. That is the other thing that we have to do here. I really hope this works. I mean, if my hypothesis is correct, whoa, that's a lot of enemies. If they come right over to my robos, that'll be sad. I work so hard for them. They're going home? Okay. Actually, this might be a great place to fight. You never even know. Oh, no. Not a great place to fight right now. No, are you serious, game? Don't target the the Artosis Pylon. No, Artosis Pylons are actually from StarCraft 2. They haven't been invented yet. I think we're okay. <laughs> I told you this was a great place to fight. It's just a giant funnel. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna wait for like two more groups of these to pop out. And then we're just going to blast out a mil- We're at 150 supply already. Reavers sure are supply dense. Now we're just gonna try to charge up the ramp with like 18 Reavers and hopefully they haven't gotten their Stargate tech out and that's what they're gonna be investing all their time and resources into right now. Oh, I forgot to rally these. Hopefully we don't go broke during this push. Uh, I kind of like it if Red decided to help us out too. Oh, that's Phoenix. Oh, that's Zeratul. Oh, that's Tassadar. Uh, well, it looks like they're going home. Okay, Scarabs, Scarabs. What? What? That's not where you build a Nexus game. What are you doing? I'm helping you out at this point. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh, that was uber overkill there. I'm not sure about this one. Okay. Reaver counters Reaver. Hey, Red's hitting too. They don't have that much anymore, it doesn't look like. They're not sending a lot of stuff to the front line. They're actually losing a lot against our ally. Let's uh, scout with our scout, figure out where their Tassadar and guy is. Right there, okay. We gotta arrest Tassadar. Let's try. I assume that this is what arrest means. 4,000 HP. Oh no, he's got so much HP. 
Oh, he did that poof away thing. No. Uh, I think we, I think we almost had it, and then he poofed. Oh, now he's got the scout out. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. You have not enough minerals. Oh, now they're coming to war. You think this is some kind of Warcraft? Let's uh see if we can see how close we got him. We're close. Okay, we can do this. Are they building Stargates? Oh, they're going to attack. Uh-oh. I'm not prepared. I, oh man, we were, I think we were really, really, really close to making something beautiful happen. Okay, bye. I'm not sure how I feel about these teleporting heroes. Now that I've dealt with them a lot, it, it's pretty novel the first couple times, and then it's really obnoxious. <laughs> but I, it's better than the heroes not being part of the game. It's way better than that. So I am glad that it exists. It's just... It's almost like the poofing part is the annoying part, because it feels like they played a trick on you. You got Houdini'd. Do we need an attack upgrade up? Sick. You did great there. <laughs> You've destroyed that ground. Alright, we're doing the worm. I still can't believe this started with the enemy trying to cheese me. They took exactly the right path, though. If you ever want to beat this mission in 46 seconds, just go down this way, over here, click it. Zero tool almost always gets it. You just gotta be careful to not attack anything. As long as you don't attack anything, then it works out fine. Ooh. If only there was some sort of way to move Reavers quickly. But alas, there's not. Clicking tacit art. Don't storm me, bro. And don't disappear. Yeah, we got him. This madness must stop. The sight of my brethren slaughtering one another is more than I can stand. Though I fear you would doom us all, Alderis. I surrender myself to the conclave. End Taro Adun, Executor. Don't give up the fight. All right, we did it. Well, let's uh, let's try the other mission, see how it goes. That was I. I was kind of sure that the Reaver thing was gonna work pretty well eventually. They only ended up making one scout, which is actually very scout light. Executor, we have found Tassadar's stasis cell. We will attempt to free him now. I expected you to attempt to retrieve your hero. You will learn that the will of the Conclave is absolute. Make peace with Adun. Okay. 30 minute defense mission, huh? Oh. Okay, let's see. We got these here, these here. Looks like we want them there and there. There's a base over here. I'd like to help if I can. That's the normal intro stuff. Oh gosh, this is going to be so hard to manage, isn't it? I guess the first, it, the only way over here is through this, but this is an island, isn't it? Okay, we need to get a shuttle. Right there. We gotta take a moment to take stock of this base, though. We have Stargate. We have a lot of these guys on this random stuff. Uh, let's grab Dragoon Range. And Zealot Legs. I actually kind of... Oh, Jim is taking a much more active approach than normal. Uh, huh. This is... Hmm. Are we going to be... Are we fighting... Okay. There's Protoss. 
There's Terran. We may be fighting multiple factions. We gotta be... Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's try our best here. We're gonna take that base. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Getting our upgrades. Cybernetics core upgrade. Stargate, Stargate. Receiving reinforcements at the bottom right. It's an ally. Okay. Oh, it's us. One sec, I will take care of this. Uh, it's a base here. Okay, so we're on our own. This little guy. And this little guy. This is a lot of troops, though, actually. Really nice to see. And I kind of think that I want to try going scouts here. I know it sounds insane, but you know what? We have so much money available, and they're very fast, and this looks like a mission where we're going to be just running around putting out fires. So I'm thinking that we go, like, scout, arbiter, uh, carrier. This feels really far away from other stuff, so I'm just going to be very, very safe with it. Then everything over here. This is the unified choke, it looks like. So I will treat it as such. I'm going to... These. I feel like Scout Cannon might actually be really good, though. I have to just scoop a bunch of guys up and bring them on over. There's a lot of stuff we gotta build. I don't have that much money, though. Hmm. <laughs> if Scouts are the answer, I'm gonna be shocked. It just seems... I don't, I don't know why my head is saying Scouts. Let's uh, continue getting the upgrade. Let's get the carriers first, though. I feel like having a couple carriers really early. Then we can start building up the interceptor count. Here comes the first enemies. It is a lot of zealots. It's not too bad. Five, six, seven, eight. Just try to be really good with this fight. Try not to lose anything. They don't seem well coordinated, which is great for us. Load and that. Oh. I went all the way over there. Well, some of you can stay then. It's great. Nice, happy family. Can we take that stuff down? You guys go right here. I don't think I need these shuttles. We are. They, they gave us like four. We built one and then the game gave us a bunch of extras. And how many shuttles can one man need? Get gas here. This here. Whoa! Oh yeah, no, no, no. I sent those intentionally. Thought I made a big mistake. So it is, it's a lot of Protoss then. It's Protoss attacking. I guess it's just Terran built these extra peripheral bases. I feel like at most I need one shuttle on this mission. We're not even attacking. It's a defense mission. What could we possibly need a bunch of shuttles for? Okay, get that attack upgrade, that attack upgrade, start getting some interceptors, remember the interceptor, oh, we need an Arbiter Tribunal, of course, we got a Tribune, that's three whole Bunes, couple more probes at this base, couple more probes at this base, and I think I'll be done after this, uh, I want to build my Stargates in here just with my other Stargates. Make it easy to produce. I haven't actually made that much yet. Fleet Beacon, Max Interceptor Capacity. Here's some more Protoss guys. Pressure doesn't seem that bad so far. I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. Ooh, I see a bunch of guys. Just Zealots though. Zealots are obviously hard countered by these Reavers. I'm going to start building a bunch of cannons in here eventually, once we have our scout production going really well. Keep building. How many kills do we have on the- oh, I can't check. Darn. So we're gonna... Just set the rallies, probably onto this high ground. There might actually be some merit in... 
using this space to tactically snipe things, like, with the scouts. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Just gonna have that one building Arbiters. I queued up way too many Arbiters right there, one sec. Oh, stasis Field. Oh, that's Terran. So they are here. Oh, a lot of them, too. <laughs> they got upgrades. Remember, we don't want that many carriers. They're, uh... They're average in StarCraft 1. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of Marines. And we don't want average units, we want scouts. Okay, you guys, here. Get that going. You guys, here. No upgrades on that side. I feel like I want to move this over here. Wow, we are actually having a hard time against these Marines. Please die. Oh, I don't want to lose it. We got it. Cannons it is. I mean, cannons are very good. They're very action-intensive to build, but that's okay. Let's see, we want to get your rally over here as well. Arbiters take half of the life of the universe in order to build. He's going... Uh, I don't think we need Disruption Web here. It's a little bit too fancy. Rebuild Interceptors, lots of scouts, and luckily we have that Observer that's doing a great job at keeping keeping tabs on what's coming for us. Alright. Scouts are built for this. This is their game. And this is our choke point. This is a really, really interesting map for a defense mission because of how it's set up. It's uh, really cool. I like it. It's one of the best fortress designs for you having to attack into. And whoa! Whoa there, Nelly. Yeah, it definitely. I like this. Take down the back line. Take out the Reavers before they can hurt the cannons too much. Great job! Ooh, storm drops. Ooh, that was spicy. Someone is being a spicy boy over there with their storm drops. We gotta be careful. That could do a lot of damage to us. Okay. Reavers keep building. I think I'm gonna just leave the Reavers. I kinda wanna just put this entire group on hold position and then micro the scouts. Obviously, we'll have to come back to rebuild guys eventually. By guys, I mean uh, scarabs. I don't have any idle workers here. Good. This area's looking fine as well. We can queue up a bunch of arbiters at this point and keep the cannons coming. We are maxed, so infrastructure is going to be the next big thing we got to get. And cannons. Hey, they stole my strategy. But not nearly as well. Yeah, I guess we just want to get a bunch of cannons over here as well. I'm not sure if we should leave these guys on the uh, areas like this, but it feels really cool. I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a boss. Oh, well, I'm a little bit less of a boss because our guy died. I feel bad for him. We made room for a scout. We don't even have good upgrades. We do. 
You can tell <laughs> by the timing. Oh, we want plus three attack. Oh, we'll get these observer upgrades too. We have a lot of money in the bank. We really got to be cannoning. So I just noticed that the timer is in real, or the fast time, Starcraft, Blizzard time. Like, it's not going to be 30 real minutes. It's going to be 30 divided by 1.4, which is like, what, 23 or whatever? No, wait. Is that StarCraft 1 math? It might be StarCraft 2 math. Oh, I don't remember how Blizzard time works in different games. Seems good, though. Let's get some more Stargates, just in case. Because worse comes to worse, we just end up with a lot of carriers. Uh, cool attack, bro. Are you going to harass my probes with your <laughs> force? <laughs> Not sure what that was. Alright, here they come. Oh, the scouts are good. <laughs> that was cool. They just looked awesome. Turns out that <laughs> 23 scouts is enough to make them actually okay. That's a lot of marines. Yeah, no. Doesn't matter. Easy. This here, this here. And... Okay, we have like 45 Stargates ready to produce if we need to. We're gonna keep getting cannons over here now. Fortunately, we can't really wall with cannons, so we should be able to get out with this guy no matter what. And we'll just keep moving around and defending as needed. Uh, let's reinforce these areas as well. They started us off with a nice little bit of cannons on this side, but we definitely, we could improve that. I'm gonna leave the Artosis pylon though. It's uh, it's just a little gift to the enemy in case they can figure it out. Oh, this Arbiter is having a tough day. If only Protoss ever passed those right-to-repair laws. But they never did, because Apple owns the Protoss Empire. But we gotta be careful about that. Oh, we gotta be careful about this. Easy. Ooh, yeah, let's just move to engage this. The tanks sieging up would be really annoying. They're not going to be able to do that. Not in a good place. We only, like, mildly bully the tanks. <laughs> Blowing them up is a little bit out of our pay grade. Let's just keep making cannons. We have 9k in the bank. All right, so they think that carriers actually counter cannons, which or counter scouts, which is wrong. It's very wrong, but it feels right. So keep doing it. Let's uh, just keep this going. This is how you know I'm a skillful gamer, is I built seven trillion photon cannons. General Patton would be so pleased. He loves static defense, famously. Okay. What do we got here? A couple marines coming on in. This is so silly looking. It's so many cannons. Alright, seven minutes remaining, and I've lost, like, eight units. This is really easy. 
<laughs> Definitely not the hardest mission I've ever played. I I guess that's just kind of the nature of StarCraft 1 defense missions, is they're never that bad. The AI just can't quite get it together enough to make it difficult. Cool, we got that side. Just build more cannons over here. I think I have more cannons than supply at this point. I'm surprised that we haven't seen, like, the Hyperion attack. Because usually that's a thing, right? Like, little poofy guys are just, uh... I thought that was going to be the Hyperion at first. That would have been very funny. Yeah, be careful. Oh, that's a lot of carriers. And a lot of tanks. Alright. I mean, we lost one unit. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> this is peak Protoss performance. No other unit would perform this well. This is why we scout. They have 2-2 two -two as well. It's not like these are bad marines. I mean, they're Starkov 1 marines, so I guess they are bad. It's, uh, it's a painful day to be a Terran player. We didn't even need Reavers to counter the marine. They do like their carriers. The thing is, the carrier is kind of a non-viable unit in StarCraft 1 PvP. It's really only good against Terran, because there's so many big anti-capital ship units. Stop the- Whoa, 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 that's how we lose. <laughs> Just straight up, if we uh, get Gigastormed a bunch of times, that is how we lose. Is that him? It's Jim! Jimothy Rayner gonna fight. <laughs> oh, wait! <laughs> he didn't teleport! He's just gone! Alright! Insanity. I want to point out how, like, one scout has- or one dragoon there was so much better than everything that they possibly could have fielded. All those marines got annihilated, but one dragoon took half an hour to take down to half health. Right, they're trying with everything. Wow, that's a lot of dragoons. Oh, there goes Phoenix. This is such a cool defensive position, though. I really like it. This whole ridge thing going on. It feels very good to play. I really like defensive. Uh, it feels like a lot of defense missions in games intentionally give you such bad positions to defend. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, that's where the challenge comes from. But give me something cool to defend and send literally the everything like they're doing here. This is so many units. I like it. We are under attack. Got 50 seconds left to live. I think that we are going to get broken on this side, but that's okay. Bring you to help us out. I'm not even sure we are. It's... It's rush hour. But they just can't rust. It's everything. <laughs> so many units. <laughs> you know, I liked this tower time defense mission. By your actions, you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave. 
and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learned to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Aldaris, I submit myself to uh, this is normal, judgment. isn't it? But know this. Given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I but something has to happen at the end. That our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end. Oh, well, we, he's gone now. I guess, I guess he was declared guilty. How many units was that? 659, only 54 lost, not bad. <laughs> that was a fun mission. That was a good defense mission. It was well made. Um... Uh, uh, the positioning was so fun. Uh, I think that the big death wave definitely could have started earlier. You know, because the earlier waves were very, very lax, but that last one was so crazy. And if it had like two more minutes worth of fighting, then I think that it could be really, really tense. Either way, enjoyed the mission quite a bit. And that was that. We have two more to go. And then we will be done with StarCraft 1 Reversed. We'll be doing Brood War at some other point, but I'm going to take a break and we're going to be checking out some other mods in between them. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.